Hi there. Hi. Hi to you. I don't know why I said that three times. Perhaps I'm a little uh, nervous about what I'm going to be telling you about today. Um, welcome to another week of As Real As I Can Be. My name is Kanyisa and I am here again talking to you. So my last video was talking about, you know, taking responsibility for your own pain. And I thought, well, let me tell you about my breakup and how I handled myself. So today's video is about the things I said while I was being dumped. I got dumped. I got dumped twice. Twice. I got dumped twice. No, I actually got dumped three times. I got dumped three times. But the first, the first time was by a guy, so it didn't really hurt that much, and he dumped me by a text, and I, I just said, okay. <laughs> but I wanted to share with you guys, mostly so about my most recent uh, breakup, which would be the breakup before this relationship that I'm in now. And I really want to be honest and vulnerable about the things that I said while I was being dumped. I got dumped. <laughs> oh, I hope you never get dumped. My wish for you is that you always do the dumping. But I, I hear that it really hurts to also do the dumping. I, I don't know because I was dumped. Um, here we go. And I'm going to tell it in a story as the events were unfolding. And I'm going to do it in a way where I talk mostly about myself and how I handle myself in that situation when i look back at that kanye i'm like girl <laughs> what were you doing okay so the first time she dumped me we were sitting at this beautiful resort restaurant that was a two minute bike ride from our house and you know when you are with someone for so long and you start picking up on their social cues and you're like something is off but you're so scared to ask because you can feel that it has something to do with you but you ask anyway because something is really off so that was the situation so we're sitting at this restaurant i'm looking out at the water it is beautiful tropics we were living in the philippines right and everything is perfect the sun is out it is warm but at this table that we're sitting at it sitting at it is cold as fuck so i finally say it and i'm like what is going on and she says you know what something is going on and to be honest with you i'm really scared to tell you in person pause we've been together for seven years you would think after seven years you just you just say shit right no no, no. so she says i brought this notebook with me and I would like you to give me maybe 10 minutes so that I can write to you and I'm like oh okay yeah sure and the silly thing well not silly but crazy thing is as she's writing this letter in the background is our favorite song which is the very first song that I ever sang to her which is sorry by Tracy Chapman sorry it's so all that you can say. I hope you know the song because it's beautiful. Uh, I will keep singing it, but I want to make this video short. But anyway, and, and she's writing, she writes this letter while acknowledging, oh my God, this is really hard because the song that is so uh, important to us is playing on the radio while I am writing you this. I'm like, break up letter. So she writes it and she gives it to me and I read it. And my first reaction is, I'm Kanye bitch. I don't get dumped. So I go, and this is what I say, word for word. I see what you wrote here. And what if we table it? I vote we table this breakup i don't even know what tabling a breakup means it's either like you know okay fine bye but my thought process was you're gonna you're gonna change your mind let's give it two weeks let's give it a week let's give it a few days you're gonna change your mind and we're gonna be good and fair enough she agrees we table the breakup life goes on but it's different because at the table is that breakup and obviously there were things that were happening on the side that were fueling the breakup 
um, you know, it was the love is gone. I'm not in love with you anymore. I love you, but I'm not in love with you anymore. That hearing that is it really sucks. But then you know, and I was like, let's table it. Maybe we can do things to rekindle whatever it is that you feel like is lost in this relationship, right? So, in wanting to fight and hold on and stay, I was like, no, we're not doing this. Two weeks go by. The thing that was big that was happening here, if you've read my book, you're going to know what the thing is. The thing is there and it is not going away. It keeps happening. Two weeks go by and we owned a boat that would take tourists from, we did two types of tours, day tours and three day tours. Anyway, this time, the second time I was dumped by the same person, <laughs> I, um, she had gone on, on an expedition with the boat and I remember saying to her before she left, I said, I don't understand this push and pull that we're going through. So I want you to go away this three days. But when you come back, I want you to have made a decision of whether you want to stay in this relationship or not. She's gone for the three days. She's calling me. Oh, I miss you so much. Da, 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 da. I'm like, oh, great. She's in it. She's missing me. It's all lovely on the phone. Then she comes home. Then something told me. <laughs> something told me look at the phone so she's in the shower I take the phone I search and I'm searching and I'm like I feel like something is in here so I just fucking search that shit and then I find what I was looking for there's a text and it reads don't text me on Facebook because Kenya has access to my Facebook if you want to text me, babe. <laughs> you should text me on my phone. I went cold inside, ice, ice, freezing ice. And I was like, okay. And then she sits outside. It's two in the morning. We argue, we argue, we argue. She sits outside. She writes me another letter. I feel trapped. I'm not happy don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be with you. I love you as a friend. We shouldn't have dated in the first place. Da, 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 da. This is, I, I've lost all the romance for you. Bro, oh, Mark, I hear you. <laughs> I did the thing I did again. I hear you. But let's table this breakup too. This is the second time, right? The second time I'm like, let's table that one too. Fine. She's like, okay, cool. Just so you know, Shit's about to go down. And shit went down. Shit went so down. And finally, when the big thing happened, when the thing where I was like, I begged, I, if you take anything from this video, take this, take this. Don't ever beg someone who doesn't want you to want you. When someone has decided that they do not want you anymore, let them not want you anymore because you keep hurting yourself. That's what I did. I was like, you're going to want me. <laughs> you, it's, it's me. What are you talking about? And so when the big, big thing happened, it was so in my face. I showed up, um, so we had the boat, and then the boat turned into an eco-resort. So I showed up at this eco-resort, and I knew what was going on. I knew who would be there, and I knew how that's going to look. But while I was going there, I had all these things in my head going. I was like, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say that, and then I'm going to say, fuck you. And da -da -da -da. <laughs> But when I got there, all I said was, I'm done. I am done. You can have it all, have the boat, have this, I'm out. And I said, <laughs> which like, when I think about this next part, I'm like, okay, even when I'm in pain, um, I'm still a little full of myself or faking being a little full of myself because the last, the next thing that came out of my mouth was, I'm done. And I promise you, I promise you, you will never, ever be with someone who can love you the way I loved you. You will not find the love that I gave you because 
I was good at loving you. I made loving that person like something that I need to perfect, like it was a mastery, like I had mastered the art of loving this person. I knew the, the, the things she wanted, the small, the big, the loves, the giggles, the tickles, the holding. I was, I had formed my identity around loving this person. I was, I had identified who I was with loving this person. And I said, you are not going to ever find someone who will love you the way that I loved you. And now in hindsight, when I look back at that, that was so much pain that was informing all those things that are coming out because now that I've gone through that and I look at the way that I handle my break myself in that breakup or the things that I said, the begging, the crying and all those things, of course it was pain. But honestly, at the end of it all now, I'm like, I wish you would find the deepest of all love. You know, like we are so conditioned to hate our exes and to wish them bad things because they hurt us so much. But I, I'm, I, I feel like no, I wish you well. I wish you good. I wish you joy. I wish you love. I wish you 50 children and a hundred grandkids. And the reason I did this video was to sort of say that sometimes we find ourselves in situations that we can look back on and say, I'm not that person anymore. And that's okay. And you know relationships are such a hard thing to navigate they're such a hard thing to to work on right and when they fail we feel like we have failed when they crumble we feel like we have crumbled and so i want to share share this story with you because i feel like if you're going through a breakup or you've gone through a breakup or you know you've been dumped or you've dumped someone i don't know it all hurts is that you will be okay. You know, we, we think in this moment, we're not gonna be okay. I can make you this promise that you are going to be okay. You're gonna look back at it and maybe tell your friends and be like, oh my God, I actually said that. Cringy. And you're going to forgive yourself and move forward. And you're going to work on yourself and grow and heal. And you're going to meet somebody if you're monogamous and if you're not monogamous, you're going to meet other people who make you feel loved and accepted. And yeah, that's what I wanted. That's the story that I wanted to tell you guys today about how, you know, the things that I said when I was being broken up with, and maybe let's call a spade a spade, and say the things that I said when I was being dumped. And, um, you know, I regret none of that. I think it was just part of my process and I want you to not regret anything that you say when you are in pain. It is part of your process. I'll see you guys next week and hopefully we'll have a fantastic week, all of us. And remember to just love yourself, be easy with yourself and be kind with yourself. Bye.